Hello folks and welcome to our screencast. It's been a while since I've actually done a proper screencast so I thought I'd uh, do one today and what basically thing we'll do is an application. I've, I've not been using it too long, maybe just a couple of months. And the application is called Cinch and it's a really useful application and what I'll do first off is I'll go and just show you a little scenario. So in Mac OS X you've got your window and um, as you can see this window is too small at the minute, I can't see the full web page. So if I press the plus sign, the window enlarges to fit the actual content, which is great. But I don't know if it's because I'm from originally from using Windows, but I like my screen, not my screen, sorry, my window to take up the full screen. And the way to do this in Mac OS X would be to position the window, then stretch it out using a little tab down here. And once you've done that, it stays like that default permanently basically so even when I close this application I'll restart my computer when I come back to using this application or Safari or whatever it is I know the window will be the same size which is good but you have to do this for every application and stuff and really what where Cinch comes into it is you have it running in your menu bar you can actually hide it so it's not actually in the menu bar because it doesn't need to be seen but what basically Cinch does is if you drag your window to the top of your screen it makes it full screen you drag it away from the top and it goes back to its default size so I'll just show you again window drag it to the top of the screen goes full size drag it away goes back to normal and when you drag it to the top you get a little marks around the edge of the screen showing you how big the screen will go and voila so really useful and this is not just in Safari obviously this is in any, any application drag it to the top, goes full screen, drag it away, goes back to its original size. So another cool feature what Cinch has, and basically they've took the idea assuming from Windows 7 because this is a feature Windows 7 has, and if you watch the Microsoft adverts, they make a big deal about this feature in their adverts. And I'm not saying Windows 7 were the first OS to have this feature, but it's definitely become more popular, more famous from um, Windows 7. But basically what it is, you can take your window and you can lock it to the side of your screen and it will go half the size of your screen and you can open up another application like text edit or another uh, safari window and you can lock it to the other side and you've got perfectly two windows perfectly aligned next to each other really useful if you've got like if you're maybe a blogger or you're using spreadsheets or whatever it's really great to have two perfectly sized windows like I said it's really easy to do just it's like the same as Windows 7 really, just grab your window, put it to the side, grab the other window, put it to the other side. Really useful. And just to know, a quick note, if you're someone who uses spaces and you like to drag your windows to different spaces on your Mac, you can do this still by just holding it for a little bit longer and as you can see it will still activate spaces, expose and all that. So you don't have to worry about that not working. So I'll leave the link in the description to the application where you can download it. Unfortunately it's not a free application, it is $7. It's not a huge sum of money, um, but obviously I think it's not like the most original application in the world because obviously we've seen a lot of these features in other, oper other operating systems. But what it is, is really, it works really well and it works exactly how you'd want it to work. It's not buggy, or at least I haven't found it to be buggy. It just works perfectly all the time. And it is an application you're going to be using, I would say, on a daily basis, constantly using it. And if it's an application you're going to have for a number of years, it's probably going to be worth worth the $7 in the long term. So, yeah, it's $7 and it works on Mac OS X um, Leopard or Snow Leopard. I do not believe it works on Tiger, but you might have to check that out on the website, look into it a bit more detail. But I know it definitely does work on Snow Leopard and on Leopard because I use it on my both of my um, computers. And it's a really cool, useful application. What I would say is I've seen a few other applications what does similar job at resizing windows and stuff. And they normally use short keys, so you would use command and a number or whatever. And normally I'm a big fan of short keys and I think it's a lot better than using the mouse. But in this situation, I just think using the mouse to control the windows is the best way to do it. 
So yeah, great little application. I definitely recommend it. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description to the right of you. And don't forget to subscribe because it'd be much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. And I'll see you later.